Hi everyone, welcome back to another Lumina Neo tutorial. This time I will show you how effective the focus stacking AI is when you want to create, for example, deep stacked macros. This feature is an extension that you can purchase either separately for Lumina Neo or as part of a plan. Before jumping into Lumina Neo for this demonstration, I also wanted to share with you their current promotional offer in which you can win a free photography trip to Iceland and with each purchase you will also receive a random gift. For more information watch this short upcoming clip otherwise feel free to just skip straight to my review. Have you ever wanted to explore Iceland and take part in workshops with master photographers at incredible locations and create breathtaking images? This might be your chance because if you decide to purchase any Lumina Neo product from the 18th of April until the 1st of May you will be entered into a prize draw with the first prize being a free ticket to the next Lumina adventure where you get to spend six days in Iceland from the 24th of August this year. Apart from the first prize, every customer will also receive a random gift, such as extended Luminar Neo subscriptions from 1 to 12 months on Luminar Neo purchases, free Luminar X membership for 1 to 2 years, free skies, presets, overlays and LUTs, extensions for free for lifetime license purchases, for lifetime license purchases and extensions, you might also receive marketplace vouchers worth up to $50, free course or an extra Neo seed. You'll find the link and more information in the description. Also don't forget to use my coupon code Peter Virac photo to get an extra 10% off. All right, I've got two stacks ready. I took both of these shots a few years ago. The first one is of an A8, a winged ant, and the second one is of a weevil species. This one has 60 odd images, whereas the first one has 40 individual layers. Let's start with the smaller stack and Let's just drag them into Luminar Neo. All of them have been imported into the catalog. Let's just click on this one and then scroll down, hold down shift and then left click. And then we can drag all of them. As you can see, there are 40 individual layers into the focus stacking module, the focus stacking AI. And first we have to click on the settings. And I have already decided that as a reference image, I was gonna use number 11 because that is where the eyes in focus. There's also another option that I like to tick, the chromatic aberration reduction, turn on to remove purple or green fringing along the edges of your photo. It's virtually non-existent in this instance, but I still like to apply it. And then we can just click on that little settings icon again, and then we can start stacking. We're gonna wait a little bit. I'm not sure how much time it's gonna take. This is so much easier than, for example, in Photoshop, which isn't too complicated either, where you have to select all the images, first uh, align the layers and then blend them. But this is virtually just with one click of a button, you can do a more complex uh, post-processing technique. I'm assuming it's not gonna take much longer. And yeah, here it is. All 40 images have been stacked. Just double click and this is the final image. As you can see, the detail is exceptional. Let's just zoom in a little bit more to 100% so you can see how much detail we got with this shot. I mean, it's unbelievable. You can see the individual omatidia, the photoreceptor cells on this um, beautiful A8. I love all the textural detail and the reflections and all these tiny CT hairs sticking out of its uh, exoskeleton. It looks absolutely amazing. Here's the image that I stacked in Zirin Stacker a Specialist uh, stacking software, which I had been using and I'm still using for larger stacks. Even though this uh, has a limit of up to 100 photos, you can get around it by, you know, stacking 100 images. And then once that stack has been finalized, you can uh, stack the second batch. So. It's not that difficult to do that. Let's just uh, move on to our next stack, the second stack. I'm gonna just save this uh, first. Export and uh, highest quality, 300 pixels per inch. And let's call this one A8 Lumina. Um, first version. And I will do a little bit more editing later on. So here is the image that we got looks really nice let's drag the second stack in of the weevil and we're gonna do the exact same so just left click scroll down all the way to the last image 
individual layer this one has a little bit more as you can see and then we're gonna drag every single one of them into the focus stacking module click on the uh, settings I have already predetermined that I'm gonna be using number 29 where the eyes in focus once again and leave the chromatic aberration reduction on and then we can start stacking this is gonna take slightly longer because of the number of images that need to be aligned and stacked it's getting close to finalizing the image and here it is it's ready and this is the final version let's just zoom into 100 percent and see how much detail we can see on this beautiful weevil there are a couple of things that i would have to clone out as you can see some uh, sort of fabric was stuck onto its uh, snout or nose whatever you want to call that uh, organ it's unbelievable look at all those individual hairs and scales and the compound eye looks absolutely fascinating so as you can see Illumina Neo does a pretty good job and super efficient super effective really quick you don't have to have an expertise if the stack is decent enough then it does a magnificent job in my opinion and it can definitely work for larger stacks as well let's do a bit more editing on this particular image go to edit let's just do a few things let's hit the enhance and move the slider up to about 35 let's see what that does just punching in a little bit more contrast and increasing the exposure and i'm gonna just do structure ai let's move that up to 100 percent let's see what that does so this is before and this is after look at the difference that just looks unreal so cool this is why i absolutely love lumina neo because you can do complex pro processing with just one slider it is super easy and uh, very satisfying maybe uh, add a lot let's see use creative 1960s a little bit of matte 1990 beijing which one would i prefer i don't like the cold or these too much let's try something else uh, maybe portrait toning well actually this venus is really nice so maybe at 15 points let's see before and after before after what else can we do here maybe go to the um, super sharp module super sharp ai extension and use low universal and see how that changes or affects the overall sharpness of the image how much more textural detail we can squeeze out of this final stack wow that looks so cool so this is before and this is after before and after so amazing it looks super sharp and it looks pretty natural in my opinion you can also go to the masking and then just brush it in manually instead so if you wanted to just apply it to a specific part of your image then you can do that and then you can see before and after it only effects for example the eye once again i just have to emphasize how good lumina neo's focus stacking feature is i didn't have high expectations initially to be honest with you so it has certainly exceeded mine it's super simple really effective and time efficient it actually managed to beat even zirin stacker which was slightly slower for our second stack of the weevil for a total time of just under 3 minutes and 24 seconds Anyway, this is it for today's Lumina Neo demonstration. I hope you find some pieces of information useful. Remember, if you decide to purchase Lumina Neo or the extension pack or just this separate extension, use my affiliate links to get the best value. Also, don't forget to apply my coupon code PWRECFOTO to get an extra 10% off. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. You might also want to check out these videos next. Thanks again and catch you all very soon in the next one.